Here we have a 5 kilogram box being pulled with a force of 20 newtons. And it's accelerating at 2 meters per second squared. And we want to find the coefficient of friction between the floor and the bottom of the suitcase. Well, since it is accelerating, we know the box is moving. And therefore, we are looking for the coefficient of kinetic friction. Great. Let's solve this problem. Well, here this dot here will represent the box. We know that there is a force of gravity downward because the box has mass and it's on Earth where we have acceleration of gravity. And that's the weight force going down. And we also know there's a normal force going up, the contact force between the two surfaces. And we know that these two forces, let me draw a little higher, are equal and opposite. We know that because the acceleration in the y direction is zero. Therefore, these two forces must cancel out. Well, we also have forces in the horizontal direction. We have the 20 newtons of force that it's being pulled at. And then we have the opposing force of friction. And I know the force of friction is smaller than the 20 newtons force going to the right because it is accelerating to the right. Excellent. Let's solve this problem. We start with Newton's second law, and that says if you add up all the forces acting on the object, that will equal mass times acceleration. And when we add them up, we have to consider them as vectors because the force and acceleration are vectors. In the x direction, so the x direction, we can add up all the forces in the x direction, and that equals the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. Well, looking at our free body diagram, we only have two forces in the x direction. We have the 20 newtons minus the force of friction, and then that equals the mass of the box times its horizontal acceleration. Well, we know the mass of the box and its horizontal acceleration, so let's plug those in. 5 kilograms for the mass, and the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, and a kilogram meter per second squared is a newton. And now, rewriting this line, let's solve for the force of friction. So minus 10 newtons from both sides. And we get that 10 newtons, because 20 minus 10 is 10, minus the force of friction equals zero, and therefore, we know the force of friction here is 10 newtons. Great. That's not what we're trying to find, though. We're trying to find the coefficient of kinetic friction. Well, we have to use the fact that the force of friction is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. And in this case, the normal force is equal to the weight, as previously discussed, and the weight is the mass times the acceleration of gravity, and that is, well, it's 5 kilograms times the acceleration of gravity on Earth, 10 meters per second squared, and that's 50 newtons. Great. So now, if I take this formula down here, let's make a space for it right here, we know that mu k times the normal force, which is 50 newtons, is equal to 10 newtons. And now all we have to do is divide both sides by 50. And you see these guys cancel, the units cancel here, and 10 divided by 50 is just a fifth, which is 0.2. So the coefficient of kinetic friction is equal to 0 0.2.